She was, ain't no tic tac tonight, baby, but we'll talk about some more shit, you know. Motherfuckers who open their mouth with teeth that look like tools and shit, you know. I saw them, them motherfuckers look like some goddamn, look like she can walk in Sears and put Black and Decker's ass right on out of business. Yeah. But I love you. Cause I'm on my grandma, I need to tribute to her cause I love my grandma. She, in fact, she's the reason why I'm still standing here doing comedy, for real, she is. Because you know, I had got discouraged. I said I wasn't gonna do it because I had did a show and I gave it my all. I don't know if y'all know, but I use y'all for therapists. I talk to y'all because I know y'all can relate to the shit I'm talking about, you know? So I talked to y'all and I put my heart into it and I gave a great show one night and a lady came up to me after the show and she said, Adele, we loved you. You were funny as shit. She said, but you have a filthy mouth. And I was all fucked up, because I wasn't thinking at the time that that's a control issue. When somebody tell you how you should talk, that's a motherfucker that want to control you. But I wasn't thinking that, see? I was just discouraged that one of my fans thought I had a filthy mouth. And I said, fuck it, I'm through. I am quitting shit. My grandmother, <laughs> my grandmother talked to me, said, look, you don't quit, bitch, unless you want to quit. You don't let nobody make you quit. I said, but grandma, that lady said I had a filthy mouth. She said, come here, baby, let me tell you something. She said, the next time somebody tell you you got a filthy mouth, you let them know. It ain't what come out your mouth that make it filthy. It's what you put in there. <laughs> she said, then you tell them you wash all the dicks you suck, here." Yeah? Yes, ma'am. <laughs>